Okay, another very, very important part of wing fight and cage fight is getting your opponent to the cage. I mean, some people, a lot of fighters use that to their advantage. If you watch Tito Ortiz, he's infamous for it, famous for it. He ties the guys up, he does the correct ties, and he drives into the cage. And from there, he controls, he hits, he punches, he does what he does. Okay? So, the best way, the easiest way I've found to more or less get somebody to the cage is first getting the underhooks. When we're poor, we're showing from right here to here, or if the guys, you know, just basically keeping tight yourself, you get the underhook from right here, going under, getting it, getting control. Getting wrist control, getting arm, uh, getting arm control, wrist control. From here, I'm going to push. All right? And when I push, all I'm doing is stepping one leg in deep, and I'm driving. I don't want to push like this, because if I'm just pushing, I guess I don't have any power. I want to get right here. One thing about getting right here, it causes me to change levels automatically. Because once I do this, I'm lower. And in the push, that means I have to bend my legs to push with me. I can keep pushing here without bending my legs. They don't change levels. If I go right here... To push them right here, I gotta change levels. I can't walk. I can't do this. But I can do this. I can lean push, which isn't that good. It isn't that healthy because there's no real power there. So what I want to do is I want to get right here, which forces me to change levels to here. That's when I can push now. And now from here, all I want to do is take the control, keep this hand here or here, but mostly right here, and drive. I don't want to keep it here. If I put it right here, he's gonna break the grip and punch me. You know, he's gonna do this and just punch me. If I keep it right here against my waist. I got this underhook, keeping my head up. My head is down. Because he's still trying to come up with knees and things like that. And also, if I'm right here, I want to see. I want to change levels. So I got to keep straight here. And all I'm doing right here is just driving. Just slowly driving. I'm not pushing fast. If you push fast, you do this. And once you do this, he's going to push back. And everything that you just gained, you just lost. He's going to do this. So I go here and I take my time. I'm patient about it. Look at Black, look at the fly, the fights with the wrestlers like Dan Henderson, those guys. Once they get you right here, when they start to push you, something slow. Because as soon as you start fast, you like this, you push me because he's going to push me back. So I'm right here. I take him to the cage, my head up. And I get him here, and I keep him pinned with my shoulder and with this control. When I'm right here, it's important that I keep this hand on my waist, I'm not here. So I'm right here. When I go to drive, I'm stepping this leg in deep. I'm going right here, pushing. Sometimes the point where if it's a tall guy or, or, or just a guy who's been in his back a, a lot, I can go as far as the night and try to thank him, barely stood on my toe. Just trying to keep his legs wide and keep him bumped right here. Keep him in control. Just like this, a little bit at a time. Shuffle a little bit at a time. This leg right here, just shuffle, just like this. I slide it along. I use it to, I use it to push with, right here. This leg right here is no power. This is my balance leg. That's all it is, the balance. Right here. This leg right here is doing all the way. I get him to the cage, okay? Another thing about this, when I'm like this, like I said, I'm changing levels. So if I'm right here, my shoulders dig in right here. He's either got to bend over or he's just stuck straight up. If he bends over, I'm going to get him. But if he stays straight up, he doesn't have any power. So I'm taking a lot by doing this, and I get him right here. When I get him right here, keep him against the cage, I use my knee. I use my leg to bump his leg. I don't really put it in the middle. I use it most to bump right here. Now I got good position. Okay, one thing about right here getting the pushing power, when I'm driving right here, a lot of guys, they just figure, well, I'm getting pushed back. So what they do is they'll push their hips in order to, to, comp to compensate for, for getting pushed. They'll bend way over to try to push me back like this and try to push. But their head, their head will be about right here or so. And they're trying to push back. Then what you do is you go here. There's only one of two things he can do right here. One of two things. He can go right here and get pushed, or he can put his hips back and try to get more power to push me back. When he does that, he bends over. He bends over just this much. I'm taking the guillotine. I got his head right here. Now you use that to tire him out. So I'm right in here. Just push him. Even if I get him to the cage, he does it. So he's taking the guillotine. Okay, now that we've got our opponent against the cage, we're keeping him here basically with our shoulder. And what I want to do here is I like to block the leg out. We keep the leg blocked out. He's trying to get it back in. Because the only way he can get off the wall is if my leg is out, he can just maneuver this way, slide off, maybe push me against, or he can maneuver that way and slide out. But if I keep my leg in there and my shoulder against his chest right here, it's a little bit hard. Now he's got to do some odd things to get out. Okay, feet right in here. Say he um, he wants to really, really get out. He's trying to do. He's trying to come this way because I like to block this leg up, not this one. Because see, if I block this one up, that means in order to get out, 
he's going to try to go this way. Because he tries to go back to back this way, I'm going to come back around the guillotine. So he's trying to get out this way. So sometimes what I'll do is, like before, I'll let him. Or before I let him, I'll turn my hand down from here, I'll go to here. And when he, when he comes, go right here to the guillotine. Coming to the, uh, we go right here to the, uh, the, to the uh, single leg. Okay? And from right here, we do all the same takedowns. I can run the pipe, I can go down to the ankle, all of those. Okay, we're back against the cage, we're against the ropes, okay? The thing about this is, this isn't that complicated. Because if I'm right here, basically if I put my hands right here, he can slip off the wall, he can get off the cage. A lot of guys are holding guys like this. And all guys gotta do, and they're, especially in the cage, they're wet, they're gonna slip around. I guess they're slipping this way. Or, he can slip the other way. And one thing about it, he's gonna slip. So what I wanna do to keep him from slipping, I stick my knee in here. Not do I just stick it in and let it hit the fence of the cage, I don't. I stick it in. He can't, he's not going to stand too straight against the wall like this. Because then he's got no balance. Then he's easy to take down. They're about like this. So what I want to do, and if they are that close, it doesn't make a difference. Once I'm in here, the thing I want to do is I want to put my foot in an angle like this and bump up his leg. I want to lift his leg up. It's literally what I want to do. So from right here, he's, he's still got only two options. Only thing is, my leg is preventing him from doing probably both of them. And two, with my leg in here like this, if he wants to get, I want, I'm lifting his leg, so he's trying to get his leg back down on the ground. He might, and the funny thing about it, his leg might be still touching the ground, but trust me, it's touching about this lightly. It's about right here, touching. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to have him off balance. I want to take away his balance in here like this. And he, if he try, and he's trying to get his legs back down and together, try to get them back together. He's doing this, and just keep him here. I keep him punishing. Boom, 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 boom. But also, if I want to take, out, take down here, I can still do that too. I just let him do what he's trying to do. I just pull my leg out, and he's trying to pull it down in there. Right down to the single leg, and I got it. And right here, I'm just controlling it again. Okay, and here, the thing, I like, the thing that I'm doing is I'm keeping his leg up. My leg is literally in here against his leg like this. And I'm, with, my, with my underhook, I'm keeping him against the cage right here. But I'm blocking this up, keeping him off balance here. And that's what I want to do. I don't want to give him any, any – he can't push me with just one leg. He can't slip around with just one leg. All I'm doing is keeping my leg in here tight, bumping his leg up right here, controlling the whole time. Keep him against the face. I come on a punch, come back to here, punch, come back to here, and give you a bite. I don't care from here. I don't care if he does the classic under time because he has no balance. He has no power to keep this. I just basically come back right here again, push it off, punch, come back here, punch, and right here, just drop down. And he's trying to force us in. He's, he's got to try to force. And we can get out of this and try to force his leg. Right and we does that. He gets it right down. He gives me the single leg, and all I did, look what I did. I'm just dropping right down. My head is still up. I'm not like this. My head is still up. I see everything that's going on. And right here, I don't have to worry about this leg coming up for, for um, uh, me because he has no power. Right here, it's back straight up and pinch. Okay. The other thing from this, what I can also do from this position is a double leg. I'm in here controlling. I, got, I still keep this locked up right here. The only thing right now is I want a double leg, okay? So what I'm doing for a double leg, is I'm just basically going to let him fight this, fight this. I don't care now if he gets his knee back in because all I want to do is just step back and change levels. So notice what I do. I keep my head up again. I'm laying here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slide down his body. Slide down his body. I got this right here. I'm going to do this right here. Right here. Look at my head is still up. And I'm behind both of his knees right here again, chopping. And all I do from right here, with my head keeping against the fence, I just pull the leg. And I got to take that. And here I do have the option to stay in the guard or out if I want. Okay, this is a real good position too. It's like all the others. It's basically designed so that I don't get hit, I don't get knee. My head is up. I'm not like I see a lot of guys holding guys against the fence like this, and they're just steady taking knee shots. Because they're like this, trying to keep a guy against the fence. The guy just knee him. Come across him, just knee him. Come up right here. So what I want to do is I'm right here, I'm straight up. I'm bumping the knee. And all I want to do is keep from getting hit. I'm still controlling in here. I'm going to slide down his body. I'm going to slide down. My shoulder slides to his stomach. My shoulder slides to his stomach, then I do quickly slide my head to that position too and just and do a knee snatch. So I'm right here, do a knee snatch on both knees. So I'm right here controlling him. I've got my knee in. All I want to do is just look, look, look at and slide down the body over here. And then when I step across to do everything else, look, I'm still blocking this right here too so I can't get hit. So from right here, all I'm doing now is just go here. From right here. Look, 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 remember before when I was doing the, uh, the double legs, when I was right here. So I'm in the same place. 
Look at my head. It's not the top of my head. It's about right in here. Because I still want to see. I'm in trouble. If I go like this, I'm in trouble. I can't see. And actually, right here, you can even get it to me if you want to. Just slap my head and do it. So I'm right in here. If you're right here, if you try to get it to me, slap my head and get it to me. You can't do it. It's tough. Because my head is up. And actually, if you did that, I can do a bunch of other things. But from right here, all I do is just pull. Keeping, my head is keeping him against the cage. I mean, I'm, not, I'm digging hard into his stomach. My head. Right here. And I'm just pulling the knees out now. Now I'm falling. 